So that's often going to be the confusing factor when we're trying to think about ordinary and necessary thing. The real problem tends to come up with, is this a personal thing or is it a business thing when we have those areas where the two things kind of get co-mixed, like with automobile expenses, for example, like possibly with travel, for example, like with meals and entertainment, possibly, uh, for example. So when we say ordinary and necessary, we have to then get into the terminology. What does it mean to be ordinary and necessary? Does necessary mean like water is necessary to a person? If I don't get it, I die. So if I don't have this expense, the business will die. If I don't pay Google advertising, my whole business will go under, possibly not. So that can't be the, that extreme interpretation isn't the general idea. You would think these are normal expenses that you are in the course of that type of business, ordinary and necessary, and that those are kind of normal business expenses that would be needed in order to help to generate uh, the revenue. So an ordinary expense is one that is common and accepted in your field of business. Now realize that sometimes you might have to argue whether or not you have a legitimate business uh, claim. Why would that be the case typically? Because you might have losses, for example, especially in the first couple of years, in which case the IRS is gonna say, well, if you have losses, you're gonna try to take that against other income and the IRS is gonna be skeptical of doing that. And so they might question your, you know, your losses and you're gonna have to say that you are in a you know, legitimate business. They also might be looking at certain deductions and they might be more critical about them than others. And certain industries, of course, are more prone to this than others. As a tax preparer business for myself, for example, the IRS isn't usually gonna question a lot of my deductions because, they're, because tax preparation isn't, doesn't sound like the most fun thing to do, right? So it's likely that most of my expenses are pretty standard unless I have a lot of the whining and dining type of money, uh, you know, bringing in the client expenses, which oftentimes is one where the questions where the question could come up. Well, is that a business or a personal expense? When you get into things like you're a YouTube creator or you make films or you're in the entertainment world and you're saying, hey, yeah, I'm writing off travel to other places. Well, that obviously from the IRS, that's going to look more personal. I take pictures of beautiful places. Well, the IRS obviously is going to be, <laughs> is going to, you're going to have, that could be the case that it's deductible for your business, but you want to make sure that you're documenting everything properly so that, so that you, you can realize the fact that the IRS is going to be possibly envious of people that are going around beautiful places and taking pictures, you know, for, <laughs> for their business, right? So you want to, and whereas if other people did that, it would be called a vacation, you know, uh, and then, and so certain businesses, you want to make sure that that you're keeping the proper records and seeing what is ordinary and necessary. So a necessary expense is one that is helpful and appropriate for your business. An expense does not have to be uh, indispensable to be considered necessary. So it's not like if you don't have it, you die. Like if you don't have water, you die. That's not exactly what we're talking about with necessary here because many businesses have expenses that are normal to the business operations, but not necessary in that if they cut them out, they would uh, die, right? So we have uh, more for more information about the general rules for deducting business expenses, see section 162 and its regulations. Caution, if you have an expense that is uh, partly for business and partly personal, separate the personal part from the business. The personal part is not deductible. So this is often the problem that comes in. We have a bookkeeping issue with this.